Hey everybody, welcome back to one another of the Walt Disney Animation Studios Movie Marathon. Today's review is The Black Coltrane. So, The Black Coltrane came out in 1985. It is the very first Disney animated movie did not do well at the box office. Because... And this is the very first Disney movie for a box office that it has to flop. But it tells the story about when Prince Terran and Princess Ilwenui, and they like to find a way to treasure with the Gurgi and the Horned King. And up to Terran to found out the treasure of the Black Culture, and that's pretty much the story. Oh boy. What do I easily think of the Black Coltrane? So yeah, the first time I watched that on Disney Plus for its last Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. And then what do I think of it? It's absolutely underrated. But not only the best Disney animated film for the 80s, but I would say this. The Black Coltrane has got to be the decently underrated Disney film. Well, despite the very first Disney movie has the bomb at the box office, I only have a few nitpicks. Because, but don't worry, this positive's getting better. The story looks pretty, eh, pretty good in my taste. The animation's so awesome for the 1980s animated film. And yes, and take a look at the opening when the Walt Disney Pictures logo is the brand new ones. Back in 1985, they look awesome. And the characters, we have Terran. He is amazing. Princess Illunini, she's amazing. And then we have the pig. The pig looks cool. Gurgi looks good. And the Horn King is awesome. And about the Terrans animal thing comment down let me know if it doesn't know what they have to difficult to choose this name and the rest of the characters look really amazing and the songs look pretty cool i have no negatives and no issues at all well despite i have nitpicks because the box office has to flop because this is the very first disney movie that bombed in the box office it came out the exact same year as Back to the Future, even though Back to the Future has a lot more money than this. But don't worry, the Black Culture is still underrated. Overall, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good film in all costs. And my next review is probably The Great Mouse Detective. Oh boy, cannot wait to talk about that underratedly awesome movie. If you want to see more, subscribe. Click subscribe, whatever you like. If you check it out, want to see more videos. And what do you think of this movie? Whether you loved it or not. So, the comment will be here. And just let me know. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.